What is up guys, Restless Dude here and welcome to the season finale of the Byron Career Mode. Last episode we managed to make it to the Champions League semi-finals after knocking out Chelsea and Monaco in the knockouts. And despite getting a few bad results in the Bundesliga, we are still at the top of the table with a 3-point advantage. We also made it to the DFB Pokal final as we are set to face Mainz. So with 3 trophies on the line, we have a chance to complete the treble this season. But before we get started, help this channel grow by clicking a like on the video and subscribing. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out my partner Eneba, an ever-growing marketplace for gamers. The link is in the description below. So we start off the episode with this massive game against Dortmund. Every time we face Dortmund this season, we came out on top, so hopefully this is gonna be another one of those occasions. Goretzka. Ow, oh, to Koman maybe. Wow, we actually get the ball to Koman. What can we do here? Coman, Muller, Mane, and that actually goes in. I think that got deflected or something, but in the end, all that matters is that it ends up in the back of the net. Sadio Mane strikes yet again for Bayern. Let's see that. I'm interested to see what happened there. Oh, it didn't get deflected. That looked like it ricocheted. No, I guess the keeper is the one who, who got a touch. Well, regardless, we are 1-0 up against Dortmund. Let's go, Muller. Muller out to Sané, maybe. Yep, Sané is true. And Sané makes it 2-0 from a difficult angle. 2-0 just before halftime against Dortmund. I think we're gonna make it 4 wins out of 4 against Dortmund this season. 2 wins in the league. One in the Super Cup and one in the DFB Pokal. Uh oh, Royce on the run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? I think we're gonna concede. Ah, Royce gets a goal back for Dortmund. Yeah, our defense was just all over the place in that instance. Yeah, I had, I had no idea what to do there. Uh oh, come on, Mazarawi. Surely you can get there. Okay, who's this Boado guy? How is he so fast? Okay, what? Oh my god, who is this Boado guy? Who the hell is he? He just destroyed me there and equalizes for Dortmund. Man, it's another goal fest. It's gonna be another goal fest in this uh, game. I mean, it already is, but I, I guess there's more goals to come. But seriously, who is this Boado guy? I've never heard of him and he's destroying me like, the, like it's nothing. Sonny. Kimmich, Goretzka, Davies, it's Musiala, Musiala, and Musiala s scores the potential winner. Coming on for Thomas Muller, and he makes an impact. Exactly what I wanted to see. 3-2 against Dortmund. It looks like it's gonna be another dramatic uh, victory for us. At least I hope so, there's still time for Dortmund to get a goal. But... We're gonna give it our all to make sure this lead doesn't uh, doesn't slip yet again. Wow, Goretzka steals the ball there brilliantly. It's Musiala, and Musiala seals the game. Scores his second from the bench. Man, Musiala is, not, is the next best thing for Bayern. Hopefully in real life as well. And there we go, the full-time whistle. It's another thriller in this uh, Der Klassiker. And yet again, we come out on top. Four wins out of four against Dortmund this season. Man, we, uh, we own Dortmund completely. And just a few days later, after that Dortmund game, we have the first leg of the Champions League semi-finals against Inter. And luckily for us, our first team is fully rested. But I am making one change for this match, and that is Musiala at camp. I mean, he was brilliant after he came on for Müller in that Dortmund game, so it's only fair that we reward him with a start in this game. Coman. Musiala, back to Coman. Okay, Coman's still on the ball. Come on, Mane, make the run. Mane has made the run. And at, lo at long last, we get this first goal against Center. Yeah, we hit the woodwork, we had some other chances, but they just couldn't go in, but... Again, Sadio Bani comes to the rescue. This time, he makes no mistake with the finish. 
Nice, we get the ball back, gimmick, Musiala, out to Sané, a chip shot, and Sané puts that in. I saw the keeper coming out, so I figured why not try a chip shot. And yet again, it, it works to perfection. 2-0 against Inter in this first leg. And it's only the and it's and it's still only the first half. Musiala, Goretzka, Kimmich, back to Mus Goretzka. It's Musiala. Oh my God, Musiala scores a stunner off the crossbar and in. One of the best goals we've scored in this career mode. Yeah, but uh, but uh, we all know the best goal in this career mode has to be Sadio Mane's overhead kick. But this, I think this is cl clearly the number two best goal. Just look at that. Power, accuracy, off the crossbar, and then... And we're 3-0 up against Inter. Uh-oh, I do not like the look of this. Oh, no, 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 no. And Inter get a goal back. I had no idea what I was supposed to do there. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the Inter attack was just way too good in that instance. They're, they had a lot of players forward. Well, we now only have a two-goal advantage. Mazarawi. Wow, what a turn by Mane there. Can he go all the way? He can, and it's another chip shot against Handanovic. 4-1 against Inter. We get our 3 goal adv advantage back. <laughs> I guess chip shots are Handanovic's uh, weakness. And that's the full time whistle. 4-1 win over Inter in the first leg of the semi-final. And, and I think that's good enough to sim the second leg. Yeah, I don't see Inter coming back against this Bayern team. I just don't see it happening. Now we have this game against Mainz in the Bundesliga, but I'm just gonna quick sim it with my second team, because I want my first team for that Inter game. Oh come on, Mainz beat us 2-1? How is our second team getting such random results against teams we should be beating? Because I think uh, Mainz were 15th in the league. Well, let's just get the second leg against Inter out of the way. First team, simulating, and it's a 2-1 win in the second leg. 6-2 win on aggregate, and we are in the Champions League final. And we are set to face Manchester City in the final, after they got a 4-2 aggregate win over Barcelona. And when it comes to the Bundesliga, despite losing that game to Mainz, we are still at the top of the table with a 4-point advantage and only 2 games to go, since Frankfurt dropped points as well. So we get a win in our next match, and we are Bundesliga champions. So we win this game against Stuttgart and we'll be Bundesliga champions. I'm just gonna do the visual sim for this game because I'm pretty sure my first team will get the job done against Stuttgart. We'll jump in when it's like 2 minutes remaining or something. So we're currently winning 3-1 as uh, it's the final minute of this game. Stuttgart are on the attack but the referee is gonna blow the whistle very soon. Yep, Graham and Birch makes a great tackle there and there, there it is. The full-time whistle, and this win against Stuttgart secures another Bundesliga title for the Bayern Munich. That's what, 11 in the row? If we, if we pretend that this is uh, the 2022-23 season. Yeah, I think this would be number 11. There it is, the Bundesliga title, Neuer grabs it, and is about to lift it into the sky. For the 11th time in a row. Yeah, Bayern fans are probably used to, uh, used to this side, lifting the Bundesliga title on a yearly basis. But it's still good to, that uh, Bayern are winning titles. One last game in the Bundesliga against Wolfsburg, but we're just gonna quick submit with our second team, because we're already champions, so it doesn't matter what happens in this game. But we get a 3-1 win anyway. And at the end of the season, this is how the Bundesliga table looks. Bayern are champions and Frankfurt, Leipzig and Dortmund complete the top 4. But we're not done yet because we still have two finals to play. The DFB Pokal final and the Champions League final. And it looks like Lucas Hernandez is back from his injury, so that's great. We finally have depth in the center back area again. 
So the first final is against Mines in the DFB Pokal, and even though this is a final, I'm still giving a few of my rotational players a chance to taste glory. The likes of Nubel, Gravenberch, and Chukwesi. Oh my god, are you serious? After all the chances we had, they are the ones who take the lead from a free kick. This is just stupid. There, there's no way we're letting Mines of all teams beat us in the DFB Pokal. No way, I am not letting that happen. Musiala? Goretzka? Ugh, what am I supposed to do here? There's just no space whatsoever. Goretzka. Davies? Mane? And he, he's onside. Mane is onside. And finally we get our well-deserved goal against Mines. That keeper has been such a pain in the butt for us, that mines keeper. Finally, we get one of these attacks uh, to result in a goal. And it's the full time whistle, and we're gonna go into extra time to decide the DAB Pokal winner. A chance to score from a, kick, a free kick, let's try it. What's gonna happen here? Oh my god! Did you see the way I took that free kick? That was like a total Roberto Carlos style there. I never scored a free kick like that to be honest. But what a game to score a free kick like that. I gotta see that again. Leroy Sané with a free kick like no other. Let's see it. Yeah, the keeper even got a hand to it, but yeah, that was just way too powerful. Yeah, we may just win the DFB Pokal after all. There's still 15 minutes to go, but I think uh, we can we can handle that. Come on, someone put a tackle in, referee just blow the whistle already. It's already past the first minute of uh, at a time, come on. Referee, blow the whistle already. Referee, blow the whistle! Referee, what do you think you're doing? Jeez, what was that referee thinking? Six minutes into the into added time, despite being only one minute added. Well, in the end, we survived that stressful moment, and we win the DFB Pokal after a stunner from Sane. Yeah, that free kick. I still can't believe that we scored a free kick like that. Yeah, like I said, I've never scored a free kick like that. There we go, everyone on the podium, and this time it's gonna be Coman to lift the trophy. Since Neuer was on the bench for this match, Nubel was in goal, so I gave the armband to Coman. And he captained his team to another trophy this season. Bayern Munich are winners of the DAB Pokal. Two trophies down, one more to go, which is the Champions League. I don't know about you guys, but the DAB Pokal trophy is much better looking than the Bundesliga trophy. If I had to choose between winning the Bundesliga and the DFB Pokal, I'd go with the DFB Pokal. So we won the German double, but we still have the Champions League trophy to play for. And the only thing standing in our way is Manchester City. And unsurprisingly, Manchester City won their league as well, so it's the English champions versus the German champions. And regarding City's campaign in the Champions League, they finished second in their group, just about. In the round of 16, they knocked out Dortmund. In the quarterfinals, they knocked out Trapsonspor, that was an easy tie to be honest. And in the semifinals, they knocked out Barcelona. So yeah, a tough team we're up against. So here we go, the Champions League final against Manchester City. I'm surprised they're not starring Holland, because I'm pretty sure I transferred him over to Manchester City. Well, I guess that's good news for us. Here it is, the Champions League trophy. Manchester City can only dream of winning this trophy, whereas Bayern have won this trophy six times already. Hopefully we can make it number seven after this final. Mane? Mane. Out to Sane now. I see Common making a good run. And Common opens the scoring in this Champions League final. What a great start for us in this final. In the seventh minute, we score the first goal in this final. Now that's a great start for us. 
And who else but Coman to score in a Champions League final? He did it against PSG back in 2020. Grealish. And Delict with the tackle yet again. Gretzka. Out to Mane. Now it's Coman. Can we make it 2-0 right here? We absolutely can. Coman scores his second as well as our own in this Champions League final. 2-0 up against Manchester City inside 40 minutes. Man, it's looking likely that we're gonna make it number 7 in Champions League trophies. Goretzka. Kimmich. Kimmich. And it's 3-0 against City. We are definitely winning this Champions League final. The Champions League trophy is coming back to Bavaria. Mane, oh come on. Okay, Musiala. Out to Sane now. Sane, a cutback. And Goretzka heads that in to make it 4-0 against City. Man, I did not expect such an easy game against City. Maybe sh they should have started Holland in their team because yeah. City are just not in it. Come on. Goretzka. Mane. Wow, Mane might be true. And he is true. And with this goal, I think Mane has just broken the all time top scorer in a Champions League season record. Yeah, because I think this is goal number 18 in the Champions League for Mane. We're gonna have to see. Okay, it didn't show right here, but maybe it will in a second. Yeah, indeed. 18 goals for Sadio Mane in 12 matches this season in the Champions League. So yeah, Mane has just broken the record set by Ronaldo. And there we go, it's the full-time whistle. With the Champions League victory, we complete another treble for Bayern. That's their third treble in their history. So yeah, they surpassed Barcelona in that regard. But I didn't expect such a convincing win over Manchester City. Yeah, we destroyed Manchester City in this final. What was Guardiola thinking not starting to all in this game? Well, I'll never understand Pep, Pep when it comes to big Champions League games. But who cares about Manchester City? It's all about Bayern right now. They have just won another historic, historic treble. Look at that side. All the Bayern players excited. Yeah, and I think huge credit goes to Mane for his 18 goals in the Champions League. Yeah, Bayern didn't, meet, uh, didn't miss Lewandowski whatsoever. Yeah, because Mane it, it replaced him perfectly. And there we go. Neuer lifts. Bayern, Bayern's 7th Champions League trophy. Well, this is just daylight robbery. 18 goals for Sadio Mane in the Champions League and Lotaro Martinez of all players ends up as player of the tournament. Well, regardless, let's have a quick recap of the season. So, we won the Bundesliga with a total of 76 points. We also won the DFB Pokal after beating Mainz in the final. We also won the... German Super Cup after winning 4-2 against Dortmund. And of course, we won the biggest trophy of them all, the Champions League, after destroying Manchester City in the final. Let's also check the other European competitions. The Europa League goes to Lyon, and the Conference League goes to... Hajduk Split. I have no idea which countries that team is, to be honest. Despite a good season for Mane, it's actually Leipzig Silva that ends up as the top scorer in the Bundesliga, 24 goals in total. But Sadio Mane is right behind him with 20 goals. What about top assists? And Götze from Frankfurt ends up as the top assister with 11 assists. And what about clean sheets? And Frankfurt's Kevin Trapp ends up as the best goalkeeper, 11 clean sheets. Neuer could only manage uh, 7 clean sheets this season. And I think it's no surprise that Sadio Mane ends up as the top scorer in the Champions League with 18 goals in total. And Ansu Fati is right behind him with 10 goals. Wow, that was unexpected. What about top assists? And who else but Thomas Muller to end up as the best assister with 8 assists. We also have Goretzka and Kimmich in there with 5 assists each. And what about clean sheets? 
And Neuer shares the best goalkeeper award with Mendy with four clean sheets each. And when it comes to club top scorers, it's no surprise that Sadio Mane ends up as our top scorer with 46 goals and also 14 assists as well. In second place, we have Leroy Sané with 13 goals and 4 assists. Thomas Muller comes in third with 12 goals and 19 assists. So I'm guessing Muller was the best assister in the team. We also have Musiala in there with 12 goals and 8 assists. Common with 9 goals and 7 assists. Sabitzer with a few contributions as well. So is Goretzka. Even Cavani got a few goals. And even the likes of Graven, Birch and Nabry as well. So with us winning the treble, I think this is a good point to end the Bayern career mode series. So thank you all for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this entire Bayern career mode. Subscribe if you have not, that'd be greatly appreciated. And as for me, restless dude out.